Okay, so this is my little invention. My little bead breaker. Um, just a piece of 2 by 4 Cut the end to a taper. I think it was like 50 degrees on my uh, my quick square. Um, it's just a 3 8 by 6 inch galvanized carriage bolt. A washer in between there. Washer on the end, two nuts here. They are loose, they're just there for security purposes, I guess. I don't know. Um, same thing here, washer in between. Washer here, just two loose nuts. Uh, I already broke the bead on this side, but uh, stand by and I'll do the other side for you. Now it took very little effort. Um, I think my handle is actually, I don't know, about, I think it's two and a half, three feet long-ish. Basically this is, how, this is how it works, right here. Put that taper in right here, and since it's wood it won't scratch your, your rim. I have to use, because it's at such an angle, I screwed up when I made this cut, made it a little too long. I just have to hold it in place with my foot and push it in all the way. There she sits. Uh, and uh, let's see if I can get something on my phone to hold it. There we go. And just simply, oops, yeah, simply, right? It works good until you're videotaping. <laughs> piece of wood there, piece of wood there, and push. Beads broke. That's simple. And then it holds itself up. You don't have to fight with it like uh, I heard some of the complaints from the Harbor Freight uh, tool. You know, you have to hold it up out of the way. But and there it goes. It's that simple. So, that's my little invention for today. Figure easy enough. Cost me, I think, all of $3 for the carriage bolts and that, but works good for me. Good enough for me. One set of tires a year. That'll work.